The topic today is issues women entrepreneurs face when they want to start a business. But I want to put it out there to you. Do we face problems? Or do we feel we face problems? And how do we handle those hurdles? I've always approached things from a positive side because I've always felt that if I put a positive out there, I negate the negative. Um, one of the, you know, the most important thing I think for any person, whether it's a man or a woman, is confidence. Confidence of the idea, confidence on what they want to do, and a plan. Once they've got that down, and the belief in themselves that they're able to take the idea and make it from a concept into reality, then I think that any woman, regardless what the product is, can achieve what she's planning to do. The, you know, one of the biggest hurdles um, that even I faced when I first started was finding funding. Most of the, uh, I know the VCs usually uh, don't, you know, we're very gun shy with someone who doesn't have the experience in um, this particular space, they don't have a long history, or they didn't come from, you know, an Ivy League or, uh, or an IIT. But I don't think that should be the pothole that holds you back from moving forward. I think there are many areas that you can go out there and get funding from. I think there are many um, ways of even convincing a VC to kind of believe in you. But before you do that, you need to believe in yourself and in the concept and be willing that to take on the fight to make your dream a reality no matter how long it takes. Do you want to go out there and you have a passion and you have a vision, put it down on paper, get the concept together, and then go find, identify the people that you think would actually be open to hearing to your idea and go out there and start pushing. You may get a million no's before you get that one yes, but don't stop just because you've got the no's. Don't stop because they say there's so many of them out there. Go out there because you're going to be different from the person who's doing something similar to you. I want to end by saying that women can do anything they put their minds to. We are born to lead. We are born to be mothers. We are born to be leaders. And we should give ourselves all that credit because without us, the world wouldn't be there. So take our confidence back, take our power back, go out there if you have a dream and make it a reality because there's nothing out there that says you cannot do it. Just believe in yourself because that's the first rule of being an entrepreneur. You believe in yourself.